Well, I have. What's happening, everyone? Mickey Hawkins here, West Ham Fan TV. Back once again with another Friday night pint with the boys. How you doing, lads? Sweet, oh, mate. Good. Sweet. What are we drinking tonight? Good. What, the usual. What I'm got? on the Bud Light as usual. I'm I've drinking got a Bud. I've got giant, a massive, light like, Stein yeah. thing. Ah, you got the Bud. It's quite nice, actually. Got a jet. Is it nice? Scott is going to uh, is going to join us in a minute. Hello to everyone in the chat. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, how's your week been, boys? Um, yeah, all right, mate. Uh, back at work. Second week back at work now. Uh, settling in. Um, yeah, it's just a shame bank holiday and we can't all go out because technically, if it was a bank holiday, we'd probably all be down the pub now talking about West Ham. But instead, we're sitting in a chat room in different parts of. England, well, Essex and London, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're about to talk West Ham. Um, well, there's quite a bit happened this week, actually, that we can all get into. Um, hello to everyone in the chat, as I said once before. Uh, Scott's going to be joining us any second now. He's had a bit of a problem with his internet lag. Um, so, what's he's, the first subject? Graham, what's the first subject, mate? He's lagging. Ngakia, should we talk about Ngakia first? Ngakia. Um, well... It's not good news, it doesn't sound like. We've got over a bit over a month to get him signed back up to a contract. Uh, it doesn't look like he's going to sign. It looks like his uh, agent has directed him elsewhere. Now, the first thing on the surface of this, when I looked at it, boys, is uh, I thought someone's tapped him up. That's my first thought, is someone's yeah. tapped him up. They've seen he's yeah. got a good prospect. Um, he's been a, 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 a real uh, quality for us dropping in that right back uh, position since sort of Zabaleta's sort of legs are going and Fredericks has been injured. Marked Mane out the game twice, more or less. Um, then had a good game against City. Then had another good game against Southampton. Um, can, I, can I just say one thing, though? I mean, we're obviously talking about reports that have come out today. So I, I don't think... I mean, I don't really want to sit here and slag the boy off because you don't know... Behind it, like we, we'd all do the same thing. In, if we was in a job situation, you hold out for a bit more money. So I don't want to slag the kid off. But the, the thing that's come out today, I mean, he's played four games for West Ham, as you just said. Um, and if, if the reports are true, it, it smells a bit like Reese Oxford. And yeah. you, you don't want him to go down that route because you look at the situation with Reese Oxford. He, he, he broke onto the scene in 2015. And I don't think he played more than 20 games for West Ham and he's playing in Germany now. I think if you look at his career, he's probably not played more than 50 games. He's been out alone and you don't want him to sort of go down that route. So I think Scott's back in. So get him in. He moving. Yeah. You all right, Scott? Yeah, I'm hey, hey, hey. He's back. Yeah, no, I was just saying back about, in obviously, like in Gakia, you don't want him to go down the same route as um, Reese Oxford because... If, if he wants to look up to someone, look up to Declan Rice, who's the same age as Reese Oxford. And he's he's been in the first team for three years now, made over 100 appearances for West Ham, seven England caps and Ireland caps as well. So, and he's the same age as Reese Oxford. And Declan Rice has never been one that he shouted about how much money I want. He, he wants this and want that. For me, Declan Rice should be one of the highest earners at West Ham because he's one of our best players. But yeah. I don't want to sit here and slag off the boy because I, I do like him, Gaki. I've been very impressed with him. Um, but I just hope that he hasn't got an arsehole agent because all agents care about is that, is money. They don't care about these well, players. I, I spoke they to my money, they get more money, don't they? So yeah. I spoke to my brother earlier and he, he, um, he put a few things in my brain because I was a bit annoyed when I, when I read it because I thought, well, I, like, he's played four games. Like, you know what I mean? It's, I thought it was might have been a bit of a case of um, him getting a bit ahead of himself or, or you know, trying to, you know, squeeze out the, the the money out of the club and hold them to ransom and all that. I still think you'll sign. I still think you'll sign a contract. Um, the thing that sort of made me think twice about this sort of thing is um, apparently they won't sort of guarantee him game time. Which yeah, I think for me, no player should be guaranteed. No, 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 no. But I'm just saying, that right, one of the things is, is it, yeah. they, they said to him that you're not going to be the first choice. Now, I'm not being funny. I don't think they should be saying that to players in in contract negotiations. When, let's be fair, like, and I'm I, I'm not going to slag anyone off here and all that sort of thing. And it's been a long time since we've seen them. But it's like 
yeah, someone's just said in there, Armo just said, apparently he was offered scholarship, like an, an, a, a, an extension to his scholarship. And he's, he's going to be five, looking five, now. Five grand a week. Yeah, he's going to be looking now for first team. You know, he's, he's broke into the first team. I think he can be our first choice right back. I think at the moment, as we stand right now, he's our first choice right back. I don't see how there is any other other issue. Obviously, he's going to have issues with, you know, developing the game. He's going to make mistakes and all that. And Ryan Fredericks might come in for a few games. But, you know, you're talking about a, a kid that's that's gone on to become, a, a, you know, a, a, a staple in the first team. And with Zabaleta leaving, he's going to be around, you know, around that team all the time. Now, just put your arm around him. Just say, look, you're going to be our right back for the next 10 years if you sign this contract and all that. Like, I don't I don't know. I, like, I'm not going to comment on it too much because I don't know the situation. I don't know what's gone on. I don't know. Like, you know, I see people blaming the ball. They're not offering them enough money. You can't just keep on flinging money at these kids because they go down the same route as like Ravel Morrison and people like that. You know, uh, you, you look at Callum hudson Adoy. Callum hudson Adoy apparently is on 180 grand a week. And he's in a lot of trouble at the minute because it just doesn't seem like he can handle that sort of money at that sort of age. You know, you can't just keep on flinging money at, at, at kids just to get them to stay with you. At one point, you've got to turn around and say, look, you know, it is what it is. And, you know, it, it, even if you have to let one or two walk away, you can't let them hold you to ransom. Declan Rice was a completely different... Sorry, I'm ranting here, but Declan Rice was a completely different kettle of fish. He played over 50 games for us at the time. You know, he, he you know he's a mainstay in the first team. His kids played four games. On the flip side, it doesn't help if you've got an agent that's in your ear. Because all agents want to do is they want to earn as much money as they can out of these players. So he, if he can go, say, for instance, he's played two good games against Liverpool, there might have been someone in a Liverpool scout or even Jurgen Klopp himself might have thought, do you know what? You know, I like the look of him. How long has he got left on his contract? They're fanned out and they, they could have tapped him up. And what, if Liverpool come in for you, you know, even if you're a kid, it don't matter if you're going to sit on the bench just to say you've signed for Liverpool and you're a Liverpool player what player is going to turn that down? Because they could offer him 35, 40 grand a week. And that's, the, that's the thing. You're doing it for the money, aren't you? you? You know, you've got to look at other youngsters that went to big clubs for big money and then ended up sitting on the bench. Then they were out of the squad and now they're playing in the Scottish League and things like that. Mm, you know, yeah. it's, it's, what, it's, what, it's what you want to do. It's either you want to progress your career as Declan Rice has done. Declan Rice cemented himself in the West Ham side, then got the contract he deserves. We obviously with the Reese Oxford affair, we jumped the gun far too quickly and got our fingers burnt with a player that you know he didn't even play well in that Arsenal game. We just won with him playing in the side. And if we're not, in a, I think though in the current situation, a lot of young players might get more opportunities in first teams, and that being for the bigger teams as well, because teams might not, not might not be able to go out and spend as much as they used to. They might have to look at their youth and. And things like that. So it's difficult, isn't it? Yeah, no, that's, yeah. that's the thing. It's, it's this, this, this period, nobody knows what's going to happen in this period, like once football starts back up again. Like you said, if you're a youngster, you're going to be wanting, you're going to be looking at this now and saying, well, hang on a minute, the finances are a bit naff. We, we, especially in Gecky, he knows West Ham need a right back. And that's what I think part of it is as well. His agents mm. holding the club to rent them because mm. Ben Johnson was out long term injury. You don't know what he's going to come back like. Fredericks has been injury prone. He's been hit and miss. And we're losing Zabaleta. So the agents look at it all saying, You need my guy more than my guy needs you. But I'm holding out for as much as we can get. You know, yeah, I, mean, I don't know how much he's asking for or what. But obviously, this is a situation where it's the, the contract is running out. And it's renewed. It's not in terms of saying, you know what, I just want more money or I'm going to put a transfer request in. It's for the new contracts. And obviously he wants the new contract to be better than the last, mm -hmm. which I think it probably should be because he's proved that he's probably, he's, he's, he's more than uh, your regular academy player. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, you know, he's better than an academy player. However, he's just played the four games. So he shouldn't be on par with other players. Give it like, so I think if they put him on maybe a one year, deal on a on a smaller wage and then go right at the end of that season we can review it and renew it and maybe give you a, a pay rise i'm gonna like i'll put myself in in Gakia's boots here if i was him and west ham offered me a one-year deal i'd probably turn it down the no not a one-year deal i mean like the option no, that's, to, that's apparently what they have offered him oh, they have okay, offered him a okay. one-year deal which I, I think to myself he's a 19 year old kid they should be looking at at least minimum three years 
Yeah. Um, yeah. That's probably one of the reasons he's looked at because another club is going to offer him a free five year deal. Do you, do, you, do you not think that the club could go to him, right? Listen, five grand a week for now, and then we'll review it every month. So if he says five, five, five grand a week at 90, 20 years old, that's, that's a lot of it's money. A, no, but it is a lot of money. You could be having these Graham. negotiations once you've had a full season in the first I, I, not I, four I, games. I do, know, I do know what you're saying, but that's not the going rate for players anymore. You look around like at people like uh, the, the kid at Chelsea. What was the kid's name? The one that plays for England now. Uh, what? Uh, in the midfield. Mason Mount. Oh, no, no, the, the older one. Abrahams. No. Midfielder. Hudson and Doyle. No, the older one. His name completely slipped out of my head. Barkley. No, no. Oh, that's a lot older. <laughs> Loftus Cheek. Loftus Cheek. <laughs> you know, at, at 18, 19, they offered him 70 grand a week. Like it's 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 crazy out there with the money and all that. I do I do understand it for from a um from a uh, a club's point of view, they ain't got a clue what the fuck's going on a minute. That you know, we're just about to get into the con- like the, the 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 season ticket stuff in a minute. Um, like I don't know, it, it's just that they don't know whether they've got money coming through the door, so they don't want to overspend on you know link up these kids. But on the other uh, hand, we are going to be saving a hell of a lot of money through Zabaleta. It's going to save us a hell of a lot of a transfer fee to try and get another right back in, um, and. You know, he, he could be our right back for the next ten years. The thing is, though, it's like if the if the board said, like, right, we're going to give you say ten grand a week, right? Mm. Now that's that's plenty of money for a kid that's only played four first team appearances. And then they said to him, right, you're not going to you're not guaranteed first choice right back, but you get a bonus every time you appear in that first team. So if that if I was in Gakia, I'd be thinking, right, I'm going to work hard now, work my bollocks off in training. And I'm going to show that I've got to be first choice right back. And that's how, but it's easy for me to say it. But as a player, when you look around that team and you see these players, this is the problem. Too many wages are leaked and people know what certain players are on. And and you look at it, Reese Oxford was given, what, 40 grand a week after half, like half a good game. The whole, the whole thing, the source of the information... The whole thing stinks of this Declan Rice again thing again. That's the whole thing. Like they're trying to. Um, I can't pop up the comments, so someone's gonna have to pop up some of the comments for me. But um, the Gorilla, uh, the Gourmet Gorilla, says five grand is a lot to us, but a footballer is a joke, especially when he's played so well. Coming in, seeing other mate managers shaking his hands and all that. But it's the same sort of ploy. They they play these games, the owners. Like you know what I mean? Like they're not. Then you know, I, this ain't their first rodeo, as they say. They know how to sort of feed, but. As I say once again, it's you know the the source of the of the information and all that. I don't agree with it. You know what I mean? Like, I, I just don't agree with that sort of thing being leaked and and you know throwing a young kid to the wolves. I know it's a mm. it's a fucking sort of a uh, uh, that's that's the sort of game and all of that sort of thing. But at the minute, it's like there's such a it's such a fucking there's so many things going on at once and. You know, people are saying, like, is it still going to be moral to play the season and all that? Apparently, he's, he's refusing to play the rest of the season. And, and oh, I don't know. It's, just, it's a bit of a mess. mess in a yeah, yeah. I see. Yeah. The thing is, without, I can understand if he if he don't want to play the rest of the season because he's going to be sort of out of contract. So if he gets injured and he he's, he's, he gets like, he breaks his leg or something, then he's yeah. out. But as fans, we want to see him play. And... Yeah, but as as a footballer, he could he could walk down the street tomorrow and break his leg. Do you know, what if I mean? he's still under contract, he's then he's got. Yeah, he's got if he's still under co- contract, Scott, he like you know what I mean. It's he gets paid if he walks down the street and breaks his oh, leg. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but, no, but that's what I'm saying. If his yeah, contract he, ends in July, then he has to play until that contract runs out. No, it runs out. It runs out the thirtieth of June. Yeah, I or think it's so, bit of whenever. No, this um, goes back to what they were saying before. Um, with the players' contracts that run out at the end of the season, normally they get a month's wages to help them along while they go and find another club. Um, so there's nothing set in stone. That if the in, yeah. if, if, um, if there's nothing set in stone that if the season continues beyond June, that then players are going to get like a month severance pay afterwards to go and find another club. We had um, we had a comment by the way, guys, in the super chat thing earlier that we missed on it from uh, I can't put it up. Danny the Unicorn one said I think and Gakia can be he donated five pound by the way. Thank you, Danny. Um, 
I think the Ngaki uh, can be our first choice right back for a long time, and I think Ben Johnson could challenge him for it. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. The talent's definitely there. We've seen that in we see that in his first team game in the game against Liverpool. He's played twice against Liverpool, but the best team in the probably in Europe at the moment. The way they're playing, and he's played against Southampton and Arsenal away. Is it? You know, so uh, yeah. Yeah. and you know he's he's had a, a decent start to his career, but this is the problem. I mean, sometimes it goes to their head straight away, and that's the problem with a lot of youngsters. You look at Ravel Morrison. I've, the last couple of weeks, I've, I've heard top pros like Rio, um, Rooney, all these top managers saying how good he was. And where is he now? He can't even get in Sheffield United team. He's struggling. And he's, he's, he's there he is. And he's got so much talent, but it goes to these, they, they mix with the wrong people and they get these wrong people in their ears and telling them this, that and the other. These players, these agents don't care about these players. All they care about is making their bank account. <laughs> And that's the problem. At the same time, Ryan, I don't agree with people leaking other people's wages. I don't think that's a professional thing to do. Oh, I said, yeah. you want to like if someone leaks their wage, split, would you? No, but I said the that's same the thing. thing to when the deck was down wage, on you? that that same website had the fucking details down to the T and all of that. And ever since Sean has fucking like apologised for that sort of thing, and they're doing exactly the same thing again. Mm. Like, you should not be talking about kids wages like it's between the kid and him and all of that yeah but it's so easy to find out players if you can there's websites you can go on it you can list every single player type the name and you can find out what every player what every single player earns so that's the problem it's so that information so yeah, readily available yeah but the thing yeah, is but i mean how, how would you feel if someone leaks you like your wage slip no i'm not it's saying not, it's you know it's no, not I'm, saying it's, I'm, no, I'm not, sa I'm not saying it's right graham what i'm saying is the problem is that information is gets out so easy and the information yeah, yeah, yeah. is out there for every single player, and that's the problem. Is mm. it's, it's it's just so easy to find it's, out. It's the leaking of the information when it's in a negotiation stage. Mm. That's the thing. It's not I mean, let's let's, contract, let's, contract, let's be honest. Declan Rice's contract. We knew the ins and outs of it, like the ins and outs, every to, down to the last detail. Like, I think I think it's mad. I think. I mean, Jesus fucking Christ. Do you think that's a strategy, though? Like a strategy yeah, to sort of weaken is. their position, to weaken Sangaki's position by putting this pressure on him from the fans to sign. But, so the, that fans, pressure comes on them. but the fans got so upset at that website and they, that, you know, I've seen them in the last sort of year turning around and going, oh, that was a mistake. We shouldn't have done that. But they're going to do exactly the same thing again because they've got no clicks going to their website. I think it's, I think it's madness. I think, uh, look, uh, if I was a player... You know what I mean? I said this before with Declan Rice. I wouldn't be surprised if he walked away over that sort of thing because I'd, I'd be thinking about it. No, they're going to leak every single no, no, detail. Lee Davis, like, the rumours ain't true. Graham is not joining Real Madrid fans. Graham's looking at it like, oh, shit, they've leaked it. <laughs> Graham, Graham, yeah. Yeah, I, don't, I don't believe there's any good guys in this situation. I don't. I don't believe anybody comes out of it any any better. No. I just, I just think it shows how like how much there's no news really that we're like a, a story like this could because if the season was going on, I mean we probably wouldn't even really mention something like this. But there's nothing to really talk about. But mm. look, I'm with Nicky. I think he will sign uh, a new deal. I think he's obviously doing this. Um, he's doing what he's got to do. If he feels that he's worth more money, then fair play to him because if he's got that confidence already, then if we were to tie him down, and as you said, as Scott said, Zabaleta's leaving in the summer. Fredericks is not really... Can you turn um, that back on, please? Oh, shit, I thought I'd move my microphone. Sorry. <laughs> 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 it turned the light off on me. And I was like... <laughs> and I'm a domestic. I thought I muted my microphone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, as I said, like... Fredericks is, is not guaranteed first place. Ben Johnson's on his way back. So it'll be it'll be good uh, competition. Mm. Good competition for places. Do you do you think though, right? I don't know how this works. So if he runs out of contract with us and then goes on to sign for another club, he gets a bigger signing on fee because obviously it's there's no transfer fee involved. I think if he signs for another Premier League team, then we get some sort of uh, compensation, don't we? Here, check this out. Um, this guy in the comments. Dan, one sec. I just want to ask this question, right? Do you think that if he doesn't sign, when his contract runs up, yeah, runs out, 
If yeah. he gives it a few weeks and then signs for us, does we have, do we have to pay him a signing on fee? So he gets more money that way. Um, I'm not sure, mate. I'm not sure how it works. I'm I think sure you have works. to pay a signing on fee anyway, even when they sign extensions. I would have thought it, like a loyalty bonus would have been if they sign extensions. Mm. But go on, Dan. Sorry, mate. Yeah, That's no, break, breaking it. news, apparently. I don't know. This is what someone said, is that Gonzo has said that Angakia has signed a pre- contract with on his podcast on his Amos chat about an hour ago yeah but with, with, with us with, with, with West Ham yeah he has signed a pre-contract with us yeah that's that's know. what he's getting at now I don't know he said you'd have maybe he said he was this was addressed to Ryan he said uh maybe you should ask him so I'd okay. be interested to see what that is apparently he said it an hour ago on his, Amos chat he the contract? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if that's yeah I mean if that's true uh, if anyone else can uh, in the in the chat can can uh, verify that or back that up, that would be very really inter interested to find out because obviously it changes a lot of what we're saying and talking about. If he's gonna yeah, sign, I'll, I'll, I'll change. I'll quickly change the title to say Ngakia, we love you. <laughs> yeah, as, as I said in the beginning, this ain't no witch hunt on Ngakia because um, we, you put yourself in his position. You know, you don't, football's a short career. You know, you want to get as much money as you can and and play play for the at the very top. So it's it's difficult. I mean, you have to look at it how we be. If someone offered you double the money to do the same job you're doing there, you you take it. Has anyone often offered him double the money to do the same job he's doing? That's the I question. Mean, we don't I was, know. If I was working in Tesco's and ASDA put in an offer for me, and it was doubling wages. I'll be straight in the green. Uh, it's always different though with footballers. I've always said that it's always different. It's a lot of money. Get a lot of money either way. Well, yeah, that's it. Very and then you you got to think long term career prospects because you can get short term monetary gain. But if you're going somewhere and it fucks your career up, then you end up getting less money down the line because you end up just getting let go and then you can't find a club because you're on two massive wages. This happens to so many players. Arsenal have shitloads of them. Their players are on massive wages and they can't find a club. Matt, I think not working for Asda. If you if you what I said, I said if I work for Tesco and Asda come knocking for me, doubling my wages, I'd go and work for Asda. So I don't knock anyone that works in any supermarket or anything like that, mate. Uh, let's get some of these comments up. I can't click them up, so someone else is going to have to click some up so we can read some off. I, I do not have that power. Can we click them up? I can't. It's not. There's not really. Um, Right, you can't, you can't get back to not, any of the yeah, Start sending in your questions. If you had any questions, we missed them. Uh, send them back in, and I'll I'll start putting them back up. Uh, let's talk about. Um, well, we're just waiting for some more questions and comments and stuff to come through. Let's talk about the season ticket renewal policy, uh, which come through this week. We've all been waiting with bated breath to see what the uh, what the two owners have done. Now, I'm going to go with an unpopular opinion here. I think they've done the right thing. I, I, I'll be honest, mate. I don't think that's an unpopular opinion. I think I think the club's done well in this whole situation during lockdown. I think I think even if the owners would have come out and said we're going to give everyone a free season ticket next year, people would still moan. Um, I, th I think they've done the right way. All right, it, it dragged out because it, so most fans worry about other football clubs, what they're doing, and, and what we ain't doing. When West Ham, no one knows what's happening with a Premier League season. I'll be honest. I think the, the Premier League season won't go ahead. And I think the clubs know it. I think there's been little signs. I mean, West Ham today put their their kits two for 30 quid. Yeah. Like, trying to get rid of them. You know, and now they... Yeah, we're at that point of the season, season now, right? Like, officially, in the sort of calendar sense of it, we're, we're finished. Yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah, the season's done, isn't it? Yeah. I know, but technically, we've still got nine games left. But I just don't... I, I can't see it going ahead. Me, personally, I, I just don't think it's going to happen. What the what the games behind closed doors? Yeah, I, I just don't think. I, I mean, I know they've they a few players saying they're, they're not happy about. Yeah, and, sort of and, Troy, out, Deeney, about Troy, Deeney, Troy Deeney was bang on the other day, and he even turned around and said, "Look, if they don't play me, they don't play me." He's got a a, a young kid who who's, who suffers um, from asthma. Uh, asthma. Yeah. And so he said he's not going to put his family at risk, and he's he's, he's bang on. You can't force these players. You know, there's people that don't want to go to work. You know, for them players, it, it is work. As much as we, we enjoy watching them, it's entertainment for us and a passion. Yes, it's a passion for them, but it's also work. 
And what I don't get is I watched the German football last week and you can't celebrate with each other, but mm. mark each other at a corner. Yeah, exactly. Mm. I watched uh, the uh, one of the Bundesliga league games. He was all over the back of the defender for a corner, like scored. But you know, yeah, it, it, it was weird. It was like watching. It was like watching training games. I want, uh, the, I want the season to start, obviously, um, because I want to see it finished. But if, if West Ham, if the West Ham players weren't comfortable and they turned around and said, "Look, we don't feel comfortable." And they didn't want to play, then I'd, I'd back them hundred percent. I would, I, even, if, even if that meant we got relegated for it. I'd back. This, this is the hundred percent problem, Ryan. This is the problem. The fact that they're back in training, doing all these COVID tests and all this thing, lets me makes me think that the, the season definitely will finish one way or another. Whether there's players missing or, or whatever, or they're playing youth players or whatever. But this is the this is the problem with the whole thing. It compromises the competition. The competition has always already been compromised for my money. The thing that they should be doing now is looking towards next season and using this time to give them isolation time to make sure that enough people are sort of getting tests and, and all of that sort of thing. But it, it, it's all about it. Listen, the only people that want this season to restart are Liverpool fans. They're Liverpool mm. fans, you know well, what I mean? No, like, Sheffield United fans, you know, they're, right, they're riding high, they're touching Europe. Leicester City, they're in the Champions League spot. So, yeah, granted, ninety yeah. percent of it is probably you've still got Leicester fans, Sheffield United fans who want the season. Okay, to totally we, we, we all want the season to start again. We all want the season finished. Um, no, just but, because, just because Liverpool are twenty five points ahead and all of that, there's still more to play for than the title. There's still, oh, arguably, there's still a lot more sort of at risk than the title. You know what I mean? There's there's a lot of risk. You can't compromise the competition. It, this is this is my this has been my argument all the time. You have got players that now voicing a the concern. They haven't been um, they haven't been uh, discussed with or, or or asked their opinion about it. They've just been told right June uh, May the fucking twenty. If you're coming back to training, end of. They've gone back to training. The ones that want to train. You have got players now piping up. There are other players that are probably fucking scared to pipe up. In case they lose their place or, or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, but when I look at the competition now, finishing it now, if you start the season next season without fans and then play that whole season without fans, then that's the same uh, the same level. But there is more at risk for clubs like you know, and I'm not gonna hide behind the fact that it's 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 us and, and all of that sort of thing, but it's more at risk for clubs like us, for clubs like uh, Norwich for clubs like you know Brighton and all of that sort of thing. That is like you're talking about the existence of clubs, the existence. Yeah, if you talk, that, about, talk about League One, League Two as well. Yeah, like you look at the clubs about business and things like that. Like, and I don't mean to be rude, but if you can't finish the season the way you you started it, then the whole competition is. And then they're talking about points per game. How the fuck can you measure points per game? People have lost form. People have gained form and all of that. Yeah, sort of I think thing. Lee, Lee Bowyer was on TalkSport earlier and he was saying that Charlton are in the bottom three um, after whatever, how many games they've played. But it's the first time they've dropped in the bottom three. So how, can, how is it fair that they get relegated because they're in the bottom three when they've only literally just dropped in it, but all season they've been out of it? Yeah. yeah. But what, what is that? If it's done on points, points per game, we get relegated even though we're out of the drop zone now. Yeah, I know. and yeah, it, don't, it don't make sense. I mean, I mean, what can you do? Whatever happens, there's going to be an asterisk next to the <laughs> So whatever happens, you either end it now and there's no no winners, no relegation, and you just start. Or I don't know. There's other options you could do. Maybe you could just you could start this season again, sort of in August September time, and play nine games over four weeks, have a sort of winter break. And then just go again, and you'd have to run over into next summer. But the problem you've got there is you've got the Euros next summer. Euros. Yeah. Mm. It's yeah. A, look, Ray yeah. Chapman yeah. makes a great point. Like more law, lawsuits coming through. What happens if a player dies? It's going to be all sorts of shit going on. Oh, I'm saying I was, I was going to say that a minute ago. If if all these players come back and the season starts, if it only if one player dies, then it's it's wrong. Yeah. You know, it can happen to anyone. Even if a player goes home and someone in his family dies from it then the, the the football has failed us you know so mm. there's a lot of there's a lot of um <coughs> a lot of things going on so 
John O'Connell's calling us all mugs and saying we should answer some questions. Uh, yeah, I make you right. <laughs> He's not wrong. <laughs> well done, John. I make you right. That's some questions, you mugs. What's, what's your question, John? <laughs> yeah, what's the question, John? All right, let's, uh, let's, actually, let's get up. Right, let's, all, let's, all, let's, all, let's all wait for John's question. Come on, John. <clears throat> make it a good one, John. I'll, I'll, I'll see a question here. It says, question, boy. It says, oh, did any of you have holidays booked for this month? As a matter of fact... This uh, mate, I was meant to be on holiday right now. I would have been on a plane this morning and I'd have been in sunny Spain now, sitting by a pool somewhere. So, yes, we did. I, I well, I certainly did. I know right, Ryan's right. missed his honeymoon. Yeah, I know. Um, I'm still holding out that I'm going to try to get. I, I've, I've got over Mexico now. I'm, I'm, I've, I've got the Vegas bug again. So, I'm hoping to <laughs> try to maybe, but next year, definitely, I'm doing two well, weeks. The best Vegas bug, right? Oh yeah, I'm in Bagman now, so yeah, I'm I work in Bagman, so yeah, it's um back Vegas for me at the moment. But and before anyone says it, I'm not knocking Basildon, I'm not knocking anyone that works in Azure in Basildon. Uh, Ray Trevor says, "End the scrap the season, you mugs." <laughs> oh no, he didn't say that. sorry, that was Nick that said, "You mugs." Why don't they? Just, why don't they scrap just end off? Scrap the wow. season now. Start next season, but everyone starts on whatever points they're in front of now. So Liverpool get a 25 point head start, whatever they're on. Just oh, like, did we did we talk about the season ticket thing? Because I remember we started it and then we ended up on what's happening with the season. Yeah, yeah fuck them. We, we don't want to the season ticket thing. We did, we did. I mean, uh, uh, look, the season ticket thing is this. Um, the, 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 the thing that I would criticise the club about, about the season ticket thing, is they fucking worded it wrong. They worded wow. it completely wrong because people were picking holes out of it less, left, right oh. and centre. But let me just clarify this. I'm this is the information that I've got. Right. I'm surprised, Nick, that they didn't say you've got to renew your season tickets by this Sunday or you lose yeah. it. Yeah, I know. But it, well, you know apparently on the website, the, the deadline, they haven't changed. So it's still like the 31st of May. No. So I'm sure that's just a fucking... Obviously, there's a few question marks from me. Obviously, they've said like, yeah, if you keep the buddy season ticket, if you take the credit, like you get the money off. And then if you get a refund, you can get your refund. But there was a question mark over because they mentioned the price freeze. Does the price freeze pre freeze still apply if you don't take frozen. the credit? I've, it's still I've, frozen. I've, I've um, looked into this. It's still frozen. You can still guarantee your season ticket by the time they put up the renewals. And you, if yeah. you pay your money, it'll all be guaranteed. The price will still be frozen. Yeah. Same as it is every year. If you look at the, the, the end of the season, they normally turn around and say, if you pay by a certain date, your price is locked in and all that. Yeah. It's exactly the same. Exactly yeah. the same as as um, the, the, the taking the credit. All they're just saying with the credit is, um, you could just take it off of next right. season. The, I'm still, I'm still I have, not, John's question. I ain't seen John's question come up yet. All right. Well, well right. hopefully it will come. No, I've got another what? question for you, Nick. Um, if we get relegated, right, mm. and you might not know the answer to this because they haven't said anything, but if we get relegated, will that price be? Will the season price needs to get go down, and will we still get our discount on that reduced price to reflect the championship? Or are they just going to say we're freezing the price, keep it the same, even though we're in the championship? And mm -hmm. here's your little. Your little hundred of quid off. From what I remember, from what I remember, when we have gone down and I've had a season ticket, the prices don't reduce much anyway. You no, get it's more games in the championship. <laughs> yeah, you're getting more bang for your buck. Uh, they normally chuck in one a cup game as well. I think um, bang for your buck. Yeah, but uh, you get a bit more bang for your buck because the, the got... quality of the bang though isn't as. Yeah, I, I do understand. But look, listen, I'm not there to see Man United. I'm not there to see Tottenham. I'm there to see West Ham. Where they're playing from. from Huh? The way I see it is it's, it's like dead money, isn't it? You know, I the club got the money. Yeah, I, I'm happy. I, I said this from the beginning. I'm happy for them to take that money off a next season season ticket. Mm -hmm. So if they give me it back, they or give me it back. But I'm yeah, going to. The only problem I've got with it is: is there going to be a next season? Is there going to be fans yeah. in the stadium next that's season? It. What happens if there isn't? Well, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think your your statement, Nick, makes much weighs up. It may make much sense to say like it don't matter. I'm here to see West Ham because that's to say that should we? Be, that's why we have categories, right? So if we're playing, but Rotherham, I don't make categories. No, I know you yeah, don't. don't make but, but, but what I'm, no, but what I'm saying, no, but we're talking about if it's right or wrong. So what I'm saying is, yeah, we're there to see West Ham, but you you would not expect to pay. A category A price for a category D game, right? If they charged you hundred pounds, right, to go and see us play Rotherham in the cup at home, and they charge you hundred quid for that ticket for a match day, you mm -hmm. would be spitting feathers, right? You wouldn't be having it. Of course. So what I'm saying is that the prices there are no category A games in the championship, right? 
So well, then, I, 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 see, well, I don't see there being any category aims in, in my season ticket. I pay. I don't sit there and go, oh, well, well, the, the Chelsea tickets were forty quid and the Man yeah. United tickets were fifty. No, but you don't I, see I, that. But it's an accumulation, isn't it? They balance yeah, but, it out. So you but, have but, to look and say, there's yeah, no game. Trouble. Hey. No, but when, oh, when, when, you look at, when you look at the season ticket this season, right? Your Quiet. season Quiet. covers you for nineteen games. Now, this is what we need. You yeah. want a little bit of um, bit of yeah. bit of oomph on the on the there show. Would be, there would be category A's in, in the championship. It'd be like the big teams, like yeah. Leeds and things like that. But the category A would be reduced. It won't be like how we yeah. categorise, like Liverpool, United, Arsenal, and things well, like yeah. that. Yeah, because that, if we had them in the cup, they wouldn't be the same price. Yeah, that that cat, but that category. A and category B is for match tickets. It's not right. season tickets. No, your season ticket is done for a certain amount of games. So there's no, not I know that. Let it go. I know that, Scott. But what I'm saying is, obviously, they take into account like your season ticket it includes big games against big teams, right? So yeah. you're getting X amount of games against these big I teams. Care. I don't care. Well, about right, Dan, I, no, care but I know you don't care, but it's about value. It's about I value. Mean, Nick. I don't see Man United at home or Chelsea at home or Tottenham at home any more value than Burnley at home. You did, I tell you what, you did the, say that, Nick. <laughs> the players, the players see it a different way because that's when the players get up for it. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> sees it as a big game, didn't they? I'm like, you're right, man. Keep telling me, mate. Go on. That's that's <laughs> why <what, laughs> we get up, man. a bit uncomfortable, on it, boys? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I, listen, listen. We can't all bloody tickle each other's asses on this show. People, you'd like to. You'd like to. <laughs> Everyone agrees. <laughs> <agreed. laughs> We're all fucking. Jamie, you know, we ain't got all. Dan, I'm like, you're right, mate. Go on, say it. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm get it off your chest, man. Get it off your I'm chest. Just, I'm just Let telling it out. you. Let it out. Let it out. I'm yeah. just telling you how I see it. I don't... When I buy my season ticket, I don't sit there and go, oh, I'm glad I've, 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 I've like secured the Tottenham ticket or I'm glad I've secured the Arsenal ticket or the Chelsea ticket or whatever. No one does. They but do, obviously. Obviously, they oh, do. I, because... Well, no, like, but most people, if there's people that are non-West Ham fans that do that, but still, what I'm no, saying no, is, no. Just, when you just play, you. when you play like the Liverpools at home and the Arsenals, and and you go there, obviously, I, I understand what Nicky's saying. You go there, we're there to support our team, but it's good to see world-class players playing at your stadium. So you you play these big teams, and it's always good to get up for these big teams. And uh, so yeah. I, I don't know where you're both coming from, but. Dan, yeah. right. it's all about value. For, it's all about value. It's all I'm saying. That's yeah, all right. I'm saying. Dan, is. Dan, right? If we go down, yeah, yeah. How, how much would you want to see the season ticket price go down? Um, yeah, probably. Uh, I probably expect. Uh, I'd say more than twenty percent, maybe twenty percent, fifteen to twenty percent. Nah, but, that's you're, you're, but you're adding three more, three more games to it. Four, yeah, four but, more games to four. it. Yeah, yeah but, but you look at that, the yeah. quality of the football is massively reduced. The quality of the team that we are going to be watching for as West Ham, right, is going to be a lot less because the players that we have, we have to sell players yeah. and get other players in. So we're seeing a lower quality West Ham against lower quality teams. The quality of the football is not going to be up to the Whoa. same standard, right? The yeah, so eyes have you, have you been over the London Stadium? So what been watching over the <laughs> yeah, years. it's going to be worse. It's imagine what it is now and yeah. worse. By your logic, they owe me money. I'm not going to argue with you about that, Nick, to be honest yeah. with you. <laughs> good teams in that championship. Yeah, it's true. It's true. I, look, it's they're 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 up, I want to take some more comments. Yeah, let's get some more comments in on there. Did John come back with a question? No, no. Really fuck. you mug. Matt Powell is running the referee in this argument. No, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm the commentator, mate. I love it. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan stirring it up. Ryan no, stirring no, I'm, it. Great, I'm not stirring nothing. I'm like, <laughs> not how I I try to see a debate. It's all, all I'm saying is that next season, fingers crossed, on post match Brian. I hope Dan's this vocal because Nicky can't get to him right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, I'm I'm the most vocal one. Try leave it to me to spice things up, yeah. Leave it to me to spice things you up. Gonna start being, you ain't gonna start um, doing your wing challenges, no, are you? Nick, Nick, I mean, uh, Nick Tucker said you said, Oh, you're you're so wrong, Dan. Tweet me, Nick, and tell me I want to hear from you why I'm wrong. I want you to say why I'm wrong, and then we can chat he'll, about it. He'll say the same thing as me. He'll say he's down on the ten. He's getting punched. <laughs> so I'm, I'm running out of beer. What's going on? <laughs> no, no, look, I'm not. I, I'll be honest with you. It's 
like people are mistaking this for an argument. It's not not an argument. This is normal. Yeah. Um, it, it, it's just Scott? Uh, where's he gone? Where's uh, where's Scott, Scott gone. Look, Scott I do, <laughs> chill, chill. Um, I just I just think like personally, I just feel like um, and, and I know people think differently. Like I'm, I'm not arguing. I'm not arguing your point. But for me, I'm not there to say. I'm there to see West Ham whatever form they're in. If they're asking me to pay. Six hundred quid to go and watch West Ham, then. But I'll, I'll go if they doubled your season ticket, you'd have a grump. You'd you'd you'd, you'd yeah, up in arms, wouldn't you? If, if they doubled, doubled the price, if, if they doubled anything, that you'd but have the ump, wouldn't you? But yeah, so the price it matters somewhat, right? You got to admit, it, it, to an extent, the the price of the thing does matter. It somewhat, maybe not in the small measurements of what we're talking about to you, but I'm saying it does. It has it has some importance, right? The, yeah, the, I, I suppose to some people. Price. Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. Like, well, yeah, but I'm saying even to you, even if they, if they, if they, that's what I'm saying. If they put it up drastically, you would be up in arms, and you'd yeah, consider they, 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 they calculate it sort of pro rata. That, that's how they're doing refunds. I think pro yeah, rata. I'm just saying, Scott, get... Scott's just message saying. I'm getting an Uber. I'm going around here to sort him out. I don't know what my house is coming to. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll be ready. No, I just should be like, expecting a knock on the door. The club do see it as obviously as pro rata because that's how they're going to do the refunds or whatever. But I don't. I don't see it like that personally. I don't see it like you know I'm paying this much for this game or this much for this game. But obviously, it does matter to people. It does matter to people. I'm just uh, about fairness, right? Fairness and and making sure that the the club don't take the piss and value for money and things like that. And you look at other clubs who have cheaper season they, tickets than us that are better and get the do, Champions League. As you say, and, if they're doing it pro rata, they'll probably. Um, Tote up the number of games, make them a lower price, but it adds up. To, so, yeah, I, I don't really care to be honest with you. It's, it, it is what it is. Start the fight in an empty room, mate. <laughs> Another said, who would win in a fight? Scott or Tyson Fury in front of 80k at Wembley? Got my money on Scott personally. <laughs> yeah, you should see him on the touchline at the uh, at the Thames game. So he does. Uh, oh, he you has see him on, on him. Sundays. He's back. Yeah, um, Scott's getting angry, mate. He's, he's like, like a he's different guy. Man. I can see him at the bottom, like looking to face. He looks like <laughs> and Bill. Uh, Liam McCarthy <laughs> says, "What do you guys think of the link uh, with the Hellas Verona boss Ian Urich? Listen, I don't care what anybody says at any point in in, in this in this next few weeks. David Boyce is going nowhere. Simply, yeah. I, I I was his big critic, but I kind of saw that and was like, do you know what? I, I I'll, I'll go with that. Like even if we go down, whatever, just because of the situation, have a bit of stability. Do you know what I mean? Keep keep the man in place for at least a year, and then see where we go. Scott, Scott don't know. Scott, the, the the thing thing is, is, he don't know what to do. <laughs> uh, it's just a little bit like I don't know. It's <sighs> any links at the moment to anybody, player or otherwise. <laughs> It's nonsense. It's yeah. just fucking nonsense. You know what I mean? Because nobody knows what's going on. Right. Ray Chapman's come up with a comment. Um, prices matter, but lives do more, lads. If you had to wipe your mouth for last games of last season to see us again next season, it's more important health over money all day long. It's absolutely right. I said this. I said, I've said this from the beginning. If they turned around and said, look, we're not going to refund you, I wouldn't have complained. It's, it's, I've already paid that money. Do you know what I mean? And, you know, it, it doesn't. You know, I, I would expect it a little bit next back next season. But if they turn around and said, "Look, you know, we're going to have to keep it um, because there's nothing," I wouldn't have complained too much. I don't really give a shit, to be honest. Yeah. With you. Oh, um, well, people can't be at me. Is, is they just 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 a couple of beers on on the first match day back. You know, a couple of vouchers. I'll be happy with that. Yeah. They're fucking the beers in that stadium are shit. I was talking to my uncle and he was saying about how this bloke pays double the price yeah for a beer every game. Right, he pays like two grand at the stadium for a beer every game and a leather seat. For a big, it's a free beer every game in a leather seat, and he pays two grand, right? Every it's where you season. get beer from, though, because some of them, you, if you walk around the stadium, you can get beer on draft, which is much better than the bottles. Yeah, but it's still in them plastic fucking cups, and it, ta it tastes like. Show me the bowling used to do it, and their beers used to always taste like shit in the plastic cups. Yeah, you know, all, if, you, if all, I'm paying two grand, give me a fucking one of them plastic. You know them. You, you must be the only person right? in the bowling hey, fucking you. drinking them, damn. If I pay two yeah, grand, of them, Dan, if I pay Dan, two you're getting all out of band on the Bud Lights, mate. You know, <laughs> yeah. What was you saying? What you was you saying? Stronger than that. <laughs> if, if I, I was, you're getting all out of band on the Bud Lights. <laughs> you want it? on the Ryan. Fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, I love you, mate. I love you, mate. 
<laughs> if you like, so Ryan, if you was paying oh. two grand, oh, if I was paying two grand a season, I'd want to be on the bench, mate. Oh, fuck yeah. 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 In fact, me and I'll be around in Gakia's house now and demanding more money myself. <laughs> That's fucking, you get two, them, them beers are so crap at the stadium. Like I said, if they are, I would, if they said to and me, it, oh, here's a beer uh, for a season. This is a good, um, good question. Did you watch uh, Harry's Heroes? No, I did, yes. No. Mr. First right, one. Now, so I'll, be, I'll be interested. This is, I, I mean, I watched last year's one. I'm going to run to the toilet. And I thought it was good. But this year's one was a bit more, um, a bit more, it was like because of mental health awareness and all things like that. Mm. Um, oh yeah, why he's gone pissing his beard, bro. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, it was it was good. It was it was emotional. I mean, it was it was entertaining. It's I always like seeing old players get back together because some of them mm. never see each other for years, and and straight away they're like they're in the change room again, never leave them. And um, I mean, you could you could see with with a lot of them it was it it because they was away for five weeks. T- it was like did, it was like I being a professional you, again, you know. They they were living, living, eat, sleep. I know you didn't watch the uh, first episode, great, um, but that was for me probably the funniest one because there's there's the um, when Razor Ruddock and Merson have the row. I'm not saying that's funny because it was quite emotional to be fair because Merson's worked so hard in on his own personal. Mm. Right? But um, it was when Harry Redknapp was giving this speech on the coach, and all of a sudden the coach sort of slammed on the brakes, and Harry Redknapp just went flying. <laughs> nah, I see. I like programs like that. And Scott's waving. Yeah, like, yeah. Back in. Oh, right. yeah. Sorry, boys. Oh, he's back. 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 Crashed. Someone the said crashed. about doing a, a bungee jump, and we nominated you because you weren't here. So, <laughs> oh, fucking Scott's back. <laughs> that was quick. Yeah, it was quick. Piss, wash the hands. Job done. Yeah, this is this is a uh, someone saying here about Razor Ruddock on the show. I mean, I quickly for you who ain't seen it. I mean. The bloke's in terrible condition um, and he's obviously got a bad eye. He had to have a pacemaker fitted like during filming. Mm. He couldn't compete yeah. in, the, obviously in the game and he's in a bad way. And he was he was telling everyone that he's um, going to die and, and things like that and his heart. And then obviously he goes out drinking and that's why Merson got the ump because Merson was saying like, I was in your situation nine months ago. Um, but look, we've, we've, we've met... Razor Ruddock and he's a top bloke. We we interviewed him and like I remember from when we used to go training ground what a top bloke he was. So I hope he like just like Merson just finds happiness and can get health wise mm-hmm. because he's got two young kids. He's got a, a good wife, you know, so it's um yeah. I say it was good it was good as well. Um like Merson sort of seemed to uh, Sort of go on, go on a bit of a journey, didn't he? And come through, come through. Uh, like I say, with, with the stuff with Lee Hendry as well, didn't know, didn't know any of that. Yeah, he tried to kill himself, didn't as he? Well. Yeah, yeah. It was, uh, it was, that was a massive shock hearing him say that. You That's know. what I'm saying. Like these football players, was... one minute they're at the top of their game, they've got everything, the Porsches, the houses, and he said he, he got bankrupt. He's, he, they bankrupt his mum's house. Um, mm. You know, they it's it just shows you. Mm. I say when when there was him, Paul Merson and Vinnie Jones all, all talking, and that, that was that was quite quite emotional and them all talk, um, <laughs> you know, about the about the problems they've gone through. And that, it goes to show though, it's, it's only takes one emotional. one wrong turn, and then your life just falls apart, doesn't it? For yeah. no, ma- no matter how much money you got, <laughs> yeah. I tell, yeah. what, I tell you what though, Paul Merson still got it, mate. Class player he was. Oh, Class man. Player. Magic man. Magic man. Great player. Very underrated. I don't think he gets spoken about enough as a, as a player. Wait, you got a full kit tonight? <laughs> no. yeah, did you have the shorts on? I'm sure you had the shorts no, I've, I've just got a pair of shorts on. <laughs> I heard your little stud going across the floor. <laughs> and I just got some shorts well, on. Well, all out of sound, clearly remember to put shorts on. Cool. Imagine yeah. he put up, he looked like Chewbacca with a fan. Oh, that'd have been <laughs> awkward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck you. Oh, was... I'm nicking that one. I'm having that. <laughs> I don't you know. I just made that one up. I was, gonna, I was thinking about when you, if you turn around, it'd be Chewbacca with a bullet hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. 
He got Lee, Lee, Lee here has said to you, right? He said, Oi, Ryan, I watched you on Real Football Fan Show. You should have gone harder on Chelsea, he said. He watched you oh, on yeah. You know what? I still, I'll never forgive Robbie for that because he put me in an awkward situation because I didn't know I was doing that. But I still won. Really? He sprung it on you, did he? Last minute. Yeah, he still sprung it on me, like, and said, like, you've got to do some sort of rap battle. And I thought, mate, I ain't, this ain't eight, eight mile Eminem. Like, I ain't, <laughs> I did, everyone standing around me, the lights are on you. My mouth was so dry as well. I was like, should have just whacked him. <laughs> I should have just stared at him. I should have just stared at him. I should have just stared at him for 10 seconds and then just walloped him and said, put that on your fucking channel for me. Right across the bridge, I don't know. Fuck it, now. To be fair, I probably missed and he'd have caught me of a right hook and I'd have gone down and said, Robbie, what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> it's funny because he took it really seriously as well. You could see, like, he thought, like, this is this is my moment. I'm going to win this. Yeah. And, like, he took it so seriously. I don't think that's the best way to do things like that, though. I think if you just have a bit of fun with it, I think it comes across. You know what I mean? Like, don't yeah, take yeah. it seriously. Don't expect to win it and all of that. But people that go on there and they're fucking a bit like Arsenal fan TV, really. They've all got their pre-recorded lines. and you oh, know, man, No script. It just dropped. Yeah, uh, no, but, but he obviously <laughs> did, didn't he? Like, he I literally just... thought he was Eminem out of 8 Mile. Yeah, but he looked like, uh, like Snoop Dogg. He looked like a dropped packet of M&M's. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he looked like crushed M&M's. Nick <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, Tucker said, get that cross like press that. on Graham. And go on, you can Graham, come up with a subject, mate. Let's get you involved. Come on. Yeah, Graham. Let, let's come talk about the shorts. Stand up a minute. Let's see how tight them bad boys are. I'm just going to turn me out West Ham shorts. No. No. That's full kit. I'm telling you, that's full oh, kit. Oh, oh, full no, kit. No, no, no. How can I go full kit with an England shirt? I need that. I'll see a bit of kit. <laughs> that's still full kit. That's still full yeah. kit in my book. Yeah. So, that's a mix of got kit. On. You got socks uh, on? Huh? You got socks on? Nah. Bare feet. <laughs> 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 Um, Nick Tucker said, Get that dress on. I was thinking if maybe if someone donated something to charity, that could be an option to like well, donate, to DNA, yeah, well, donate to the NHS. Does he have to wear a wig as well? well? I don't know, like, but Nick Tucker said, Get that dress on. And I thought, Well, donate to the NHS, that might be a bit of thing to raise some money. <laughs> wig, wig and boots, <laughs> Wait, Gary, pa Gary, <laughs> played <laughs> it. Gary played it. If you played five aside football, what position would you all play in? Uh, I'll be honest, mate. I'll be all over the gaff. That's the okay. Same. Okay, go. I can't. No, I'll be all over. I'll be seeing Graham yeah. running for him like a bit. Um, I'll be. I like to be in the middle. I like to be the go between between the defence and the and the attack. You have a you I'm. I'm a defender. I'll be at back. I'm a defender. That's why we need. We got. We got no strikers because if yeah, he's going to go, and I'm at the back. My oh, lord, all right. <laughs> I'll go. I said, Dan, Dan, I'm right up front then. I'll go out front. Listen, I'll sort it out. Don't worry. There are five of you. You are a team. Now we're, we're not a team. Ten years ago, maybe. But, do, do you know yeah. what? <laughs> One day, we should do it for charity. Just the five of us do a five oh, aside. Oh, I can't even walk up the stairs with that fucking. <laughs> no, <laughs> Brett. We'll pick her up. Do some yoga before to prep. No, nah, Dan will do it. Yoga? Dan, Nicky, Nicky, Nicky's legs are naked, mate. <laughs> yeah, no, my <laughs> legs are fucked. It don't matter what, what sort of shape I'm in. My legs are fucked. Like, my bones are critical. I, I, I tell you what, you can be the manager. He joined him for training for five minutes and popped his calf. Nicky, Nick, go one-on-one. -on -one yeah, it's because I didn't warm up properly. Nick, why don't you be the manager and then maybe we'll get Dom into... Uh, nah, I'm, I'm used to that, to be honest, Dan. As well. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine Dom up front? <laughs> Don's definitely going and gone. Oh, back in the days, mate, like you all talked to me like I never done it. I, I honestly, I, I did until I had an accident when I was 25. I'm, I'm 30. I'm coming up. What am I? 37. <laughs> I'm 37 now. Uh, and I'm nearly 38. When before I had my accident, I had to give up football at 24. So before mm. I had my accident, I, I was playing. I was, you know, we was all within a team together. Like that's somebody asked earlier, do we know each other? Yeah, we. We've, I've known Ryan for, you know, majority of my life. I met Graham and and Scott when we was, you know, twenty, all playing in the same football team together. And we, you know, we played together for many years. Like it's not like I've never been able to play. It's just that Nicky one used to score some absolute bangers. 
yeah, I, I didn't you score many, but when I scored, scored them, I fucking scored some. Uh, I've scored overhead kicks also. People don't believe me. Nicky, <laughs> Nicky don't do tattings. Nicky does not do tattings. Uh, that, that, that is true. That is true. He doesn't. Uh, it's like, he doesn't. <clears throat> You know, once that accident, I tried to come back. I tried after that accident. I got very down and, and and depressed and all of that sort of thing. My life sort of changed. My my hips are fucked. My knees are fucked. I'm held together in the lower half of, of my region um, with with pins and rods and things. I, I just can't do it. If I fucking start twisting and turning, my knees are fall apart. You just see me crumble on the floor. I'd be like fucking. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I'd be like that big fat fucking big spat, big fat slob out of blade. What about walking football? Because that's the thing, you know, isn't it? We should do that. Walking football. He's here. And you just walk it. Like Father Ted, with, Father Ted with the old boys. But I, I do understand what, what you're saying about walking football, but I don't think I could res resist the temptation to try and run. <laughs> But most of them are like in their 80s, mate. If I clatter into one of them old geeses, he's going flying, and I don't think it's going to back up. <laughs> Nicky, Nicky would not, I'll tell you, Nicky would not resist the urge to clatter people because Nick, Nicky, oh, <laughs> Nicky was always one of, the, great. Nicky was one of the players. Like, if, if someone on the opposition was a, I remember a game I was injured. Remember, Scott, when I yeah, took yeah, over the third yeah. team for a couple of games. And Nicky was sub, and they had, uh, the team we were playing had this centre half, and he, he was clumping all the young lads. So I went, <laughs> I went to Nicky. He, um... he, he, he had, he, he was someone who had a sun, uh, was always on the sunbed before being on the sunbed was popular. He yeah, was that yeah. type of player, that, that, that um, defender. Yeah, and he, he, he was, he was basically bullying all the like we had a few lads that were sort of 18, 19. So I. I've got a Nicky right warm up going on. So I've got <laughs> put him on up front. I went, just let that centre half know you're there. Nicky went on 30 seconds, punched him straight in the bollocks <laughs> within 30 yeah, right. seconds. I thought I was going to, I thought he was going to get sent off within a minute right. going on. Do you remember that time? <laughs> Do you remember that time? I can't remember what team it was, but we had that woman ref. Yeah. And I got booked and she she went, what's your number? I went, 07949. You put me again. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. She put me again, the salty bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got <laughs> <laughs> oh, I used to love the tackle. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, she we, had, we, we had some oh. good times playing football, didn't we? We had some good times. Yeah, no. Oh, I don't, you know. <laughs> 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 we're nearly getting sent off within a minute. We've got another block that's in the can, but my computer's been playing up, but I've sorted it out now, so I'm editing it tonight, actually. Oh, I can't wait for that one. <laughs> yeah, you want to look nervous, Scott. <laughs> oh, what, what, am I, what are you licking? What are you licking, Ryan? I don't know. What am I licking? I won't lick him. <laughs> what are you licking? I won't lick him the breath. Uh, what else we got? Now. Come on, Graham. Come up with Sank. I don't know. Just made Have Sank. Little, man. <laughs> I, think was, um, I think Ryan. I think Noah said, Ryan, who's the best player you played against when you played hashtag that time? Best player you played against when you played hashtag? Um, yeah, when you played for Ball Street against hashtag. Graham played, didn't you, Craig? Yeah, I, I can't even remember. Yeah, Graham, Graham, come on. I can't even remember any of the hashtag. I, I like uh, the goalkeeper, Jacko. He's a good, very lad good lad on the wing who got absolutely cleaned out. I think, uh, to be honest, in that game, I think we had the best player on the pitch. Yeah, all cop. He, he, no, um, oh. Elliot, Elliot Hackney. Oh, yeah, he's class, man. He's 30 today. What? Yeah, he only looks about 10. <laughs> he's got Elliot. Elliot's <laughs> class, man. He's a fucking class. But James is good as well. James as a midfielder is fucking quality. Like, um, who got sent off? I, I, I out of all of them. Nicky, <laughs> Nicky. No, I, I don't think I think he got sent off before he got sent on. <laughs> <laughs> I've, not, I've never been sent off, so it weren't me. I've been, I've been sent you off. Must have had a couple of fucking red cards. Oh, you no, tell a lie. No, tell a lie. Scotty, I reckon Scotty. Scotty broke his leg and was still giving it when he got, he got sent off for the tackle that broke his leg and he was still giving it a ref when he was getting carried off. Dan, did you ever play football? You look bored there, mate. Look, no, looks... I'm just, no, I've got a fucking... My head's... I don't know what it is. My head's just started apparently. Like, 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 some reason. <laughs> yeah, it's getting a bit... Yeah. Yeah. Only for fun. I never played... Uh... <laughs> Nick, only, did you get sent off against Loach? 
Did you get yeah. sent off against Loas? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's Nicky. I've, yeah. I've only been... Hang on, how many times have been sent off? Twice. And it did twice? No, once. I'll stop getting booked. No, once, yeah. Learning how to pay for yeah. the fines. <laughs> I, I, I probably, I've probably been booked more than all of us. I remember that time when I come in and, and I'll come in the clubhouse and I had a really good training session, really enjoyed myself, and then Gripper slapped me with a £60 bill. <laughs> What's that for? Give the ref the number. That's why. Yeah, we're totaled up <laughs> over there. I'm like, fuck sake. I was like, sixty quid down there. I don't want this. I Scott, do you remember you? Scott, I remember talk, Scott when we went to this game. Right, I never, I'll never forget this day. And there was a geezer. Uh, uh, what happened was the, you know, like the Red Bridge roundabout. Mm. It was fucked. It was fucked that day, right? Absolutely fucked. We left the ground and we was running like an hour or maybe two hours late, right? And we was playing in a cup game against his team. And I'll never forget this day. I was playing and I... I, I um, It was nil-nil for all the game, right? I went through on goal and the ball... I went through and I got between the goal and the geezer and I was just about to smack it and the ball bounced up right it was a, like a, a dry pitch the ball bounced right up there and I was watching the ball waiting for it to come down and he sweeped my legs away from me and I, and I, <laughs> like, right and the ref was like play on play on play on right they went up the other end and scored yeah and I swear down this is the God's honest truth right that what it was the referee was he was so pissed off that we was late. There was nothing we could do about it, but he was so pissed off that he was late. He just didn't want it to go to extra time. That, right? that, that was so, over Bancroft. Yeah, that, yeah that, that's it. That's yeah. it. So, yeah. I mean, he, it was the last seconds of the game, right? The ball come up. We had, we had a geezer, Darren. He played for us for a good few years, but it was his first ever game, right? And he was a good player. He was a good player, Darren. And the ball come out. I swear my life, it's the fucking best goal I've ever seen because yep. the, the ball come over, right, for the corner. The, def- the defender headed it out and he was on the edge of the box. And as it come down, he sort of swiveled and hit it on the volley, right? <laughs> and, and as he swiveled, he hit it so clean that you could see it was going in. And as soon as the ref saw it was going in, he started playing his whistle. <laughs> Do you remember? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Yeah, he, 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 he just didn't want to stay there for extra time. No, right. no. that was it because he, he wanted to watch the rugby. Yeah, that was it, yeah. That was it. We're going to have a little bit of fun now, right? We're going to start with Dan. I'm going to go through Scott, then me, then Graham and Nicky, right? So, we we'll start off with Dan. Who does the best robot? Come on, Dan. Best robot? Are oh, you starting with me? <laughs> Come on. The robot. Oh, does. mine's going to be awful. Oh. <laughs> I ain't even, I ain't even going to attempt it. So. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah. I was just do a, to, just do a uh, dodgy one. Really? Mine will be obvious. I was listening to Mr. <laughs> Roboto by Sticks before we came on, so I'm, I'm, I'm really... All right, ready? All right, yeah. ready? Who's going oh. first? <laughs> What's the one, Scott? I don't fucking know. Yeah, well done. Man. Get some double yeah. forty on you, mate. I can't, I can't look. I'm on. I'm on the phone. So if I move, the phone moves. So I can't do it. You're just the mirror of miserable old git, Scott. <laughs> what? Move your head or something. Do something. Do a robot. I can't do a robot. Hey. I'm no good at robot. <laughs> Wait, you won't be auditioning for Terminator, mate. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Mr. Charisma. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll, have a little, I'll have a little pop here. kind of fucking oh, yeah. robot oh, yeah. is that? That's <laughs> robot on coach. Ryan, Ryan's coach. rubbing his own funk on it. Ryan's rubbing some funk on it. <laughs> that is, that <laughs> is robot, robot on some drugs right there, mate. I tell you. Oh, better than no, you're fucking robot, it. that's for sure. Piss <laughs> off. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that's a fucking limbo robot, if ever I see it. Look, words and pictures gave you a thumbs down. He looked like a robot <laughs> running for a shit. <laughs> <laughs> no robot does that. Nick, oh, Nick you're you're gonna... Gonna... Go on, Nick. Okay. This robot does. Oh, yeah. I'll put stand up, then. Hey, this is it. This oh, is Nicky's won it. Nicky's won it. And that down. is it. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we <laughs> go. <laughs> we have the winner. Well, yeah. Nicky's won That's it. And made down. Into needles. I can't move. <laughs> it. It's just a little bit of fun to liven up the night. <laughs> oh, <my favorite laughs> I see earlier oh, on my favorite YouTubers in the house. Jack makes in the house. 
I love his content, man. If you ever, if nobody follows Jack, mate, oh, big I'll, tell man, what, man. I'll tell you what, that what he done with the Love Island, he's in there, Red, mate. He lives there, rent free on that Love Island. He's presenting that show next year if he wants to. He'll do what he wants. That was good. Oh, Yes, uh, no, be a West Ham, proper West Ham fan from Norwich, which is interesting. I wonder how someone from Norwich like sports West Ham. I'm sure he's told the story, but I'd be interested in hearing that. Yeah, West I Ham's think with his dad, I think. Mean. I think his dad was uh, uh, usual, just yeah, the usual suspect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. fair, uh, fair Ray, play. Raymond Moral Bonds. Who? What's Ray that? Moral Bonds. I don't know. Uh, more question. Put question. More, uh, more, more is the is the is the, for me. Got it. It's it's a it's a uh, tough one. Um, where did you stand in the bowling before all seater stadiums? Um, uh, North Bank mainly. Me, me and Scotty last season was in the uh, West End. Um, <laughs> when, when the, the, the only place I've ever stood was um, what would have been what was the what was the Trevor oh, Brooklyn before it was Trevor Brooklyn? <laughs> that was the, the uh, that was the North Bank and the Bobby Moore you spent South Bank. Yeah, mm. no. So I've I've only ever stood in the North Bank. Yeah. You yeah. don't watch Love Island, do you? I, right? I I've never seen an episode of Love Island in my life, and and I promise you, I never. I've what I watch some shit, but I won't. Uh, yeah. My respect for you is intact. But he did. Do you know what? Right, that, that, that amazes me. Island. I've watched. I've watched more Love Island than Ryan. That's terrible. You sure, that is you terrible. Like you're on Love Island with them Nashers and that tan. <laughs> <laughs> I love how everyone think, expects him to be a Love Island fan. Love Island, Love Island, Love Island, Love Island. I think you need to go. Love Island. Look out there, now, go and look in the mirror and have a word with yourself. <laughs> oh, yeah. The missus watches you. What am I meant to do? Go to bed. Fucking hell, Scott. Your hair goes back further than Marnay's. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! When, when I was uh, no, just going back to that standing thing, though, um, Gary says at the back yeah. of the ICF, I used to have to stand at the front on the boxes because I was little then. Where did you stand? Oh, yeah, look, for some reason, I'm crying on Love Island. I'll tell you what, mate. That, that show someone with their guts out, not giving a fuck, and a couple of shots, and just getting on it. Let's let's make oh, it happen. Okay, let's. Right Mickey's sitting down with a bag of crisps watching Love Island. I'll, I'll be honest, mate. I'm, I'm going to be totally, totally hey, honest. Come with me, mate. Come on, Love Island. You have the crisps. We'll, we'll just sit around the pool. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, I, I don't watch TV in general, let alone fucking Love Island. You uh, watch Disney watch. Plus, and you've been... Someone asked earlier, Nick, because you was binging The Simpsons. Someone wanted to know earlier if you finished it. No, no. I'll, I'll quit. <laughs> he gave up. It gets really bad. Yeah, I was, watching, I was watching a video analyzing why it got so shit, and it was like loads of the writers left, and they mm. just had loads of new ones, and it just got really bad. Uh, right, here's a proper question: Do you think West Ham deserves oh. to start this season? If the final nine ten matches are played behind closed doors, do you think West Ham have have haven't got enough to get through these difficult fixtures to end up uh, in a championship next season? No offense to everyone else who asked the question. <laughs> No, yeah. sorry. No. <laughs> the questions are available. Um, yeah, it's. I mean, I think it, it comes down. It, you've got to judge it over the thirty-eight games. If we're in a relegation zone after thirty-eight games, then no, we don't deserve to stay up. But nine games to go, I still say it now. I still think we're good enough with what fixtures we've got left to get enough points to just about stay up. I, yeah, I, I agree. I think this is why sort of like the the. Um, uh, the uh, what's the word? No, it's gone. Go, carry on. It's such a weird <laughs> thing, though, isn't it? Like, um, deserve because that's talked a lot about, isn't it? Like, this team deserved to go down, and but there's so many factors. Like, say you used to say, like, West Ham, we've been shit this season, and you'd say, West Ham, because they've been shit this season, they deserve to go down. But if we stay up, then you'd say the other teams would have to be worse, so surely they deserve more to go down. I think the, I think the two signings that we made in January, um, mm. this this is what I was going to say. I mean, you know, when you're talking about points per game and all that, that sort of nonsense, they're so like you, them two signings we made in January made such a difference in just them them yeah. few games. You know what I mean? Like yeah. we give Liverpool a fucking game. We and give. I know we, I know we lost to Arsenal, but I feel like we was improving. We beat Arsenal. Yeah. We beat Arsenal. I feel like we was improving. So right. we and we we comfortably dispatched Southampton. 
I, I don't know about Wolves and all that sort of thing. Uh, that maybe you know that's a that's a tough game, but you know I, I feel like the confidence was returning back to the um, to the players with with the likes of Bowen in the side and all of that sort of thing. I don't yeah. think we'd have gone down. I don't think we'd have gone down. Will we go down now without the fans? Like, in fact, I, I, I've got a fucking sneaky suspicion that the week after we, you know, the Wolves game, we beat Spurs quite comfortably at, at, at White Hart Lane. And I know that's going to sound fucking stupid, but it's just the, the place they was in and the place we was in, I, I just couldn't see anything but a West Ham result. I, our season, honestly, to be honest truth, and I'm, you know, I'm not a fucking mystic mega or anything like that. There would have been a couple of bad games and all that, but the confidence was just returning to the players and we was playing some real good football. Um, so to do it points per game, I think would be absolutely ridiculous. I just, I just think, you know, the whole thing should be null and void. It, that's what it should be. It won't be now because they've, you know, they've done everything in their power to get it back. But the, the you know, the, the, the competition has been tainted now. You can't predict what was going to happen. Like that. No, nobody can predict what was going to happen, but you know, Here's a, here's a different question. Did any famous player go to the schools? Hayden Mullins went to my secondary. That's from uh, Cross Dammers. Um, uh, many, many of my, many of I think that's how you pronounce his name. He went to my school. Who, who's that? <laughs> the one that, um, that that got us kicked out of the uh, League Cup. Yeah, I know who he is, Scott. Don't worry about that, mate. A Moyne. I think that's I'm the one who Harry Potter. I'm Moyne. Moyne. <laughs> Eastley, uh, I Chris, know Kevin Hitchcock, the old Chelsea goalkeeper, and he was on West Ham's coaching staff later in his career, went to Eastley. Danny Williamson went to Eastley. Uh, uh, Chris Hewton oh, went by school. Chris Hewton, St. Bonds. <laughs> Graham was in the same class as Vic Watson. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, don't, I don't think... Um, I haven't heard of any football players coming from Manor Park. I haven't heard of any... Football players coming from there. Yeah, didn't think you go um, Cumberland, Muzzy is it? Muzzy is it? And uh, didn't Gary Charles go there as well? I'm not sure for Gary Charles. I know, I know Muzzy. I know Muzzy is it went because yeah. um, uh, my a friend of mine that went who was in my class was still good friends with him, and he, he used to come when we used to go out drinking up the army and navy when I was about thirteen. Um, he. Uh, he used to come in the army and navy quite often, and, and he, you know he's quite good friends with him. Uh, yes. Scott Cannon, Danny Williamson. Yeah, yeah. Scott Cannon, what a player he was! Oh, no, nice. I know his family quite well, really well. His brother, Lee, his brother Lee was good as well. He was really good. Yeah. And Donna, Donna's a player as well. Donna, yeah, she was good. Danny, it was Donna. Great. Who loves Arsenal? Nobody. Arsenal. Yes. Arsenal fans, yeah. Ray, if you if you can remember any more that went, I I, I know Kevin Hitchcock and and Danny Williamson that went, but I can't remember. Are you saying Gary Charles was Eastley? I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, I think it. I know I had a couple of mates that went like St Bonds and that, and I think the foe went there at the same time. Yeah, I went. I, I remember. I think the foe went to my nursery for about a week. And I, I remember growing up with uh, Jermaine, obviously, because his best mate lives opposite um, where my mum and dad live. So we used to see Jermaine quite a lot and play football with him quite a lot. Um, and it was great to see him go on and make it because the crowd he used to hang around with, obviously he had that choice in his life to go and play football or go down the wrong road. And obviously he chose to go down the football road and it's worked out well for him. And whatever people think of Jermaine Defoe, like, we know where he come from and we know how hard he worked. Yeah, absolutely. Marky Noble used to live what? Two two streets away around the corner? I think Nobes went to Woodside. He went Woodside, yeah. but he literally just around the... Yeah, he went, he went, he went, yeah, yeah he, I went to Park. He, he went Woodside after I left, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Fame, you went. Most famous player yeah, he ever played against. I think Ryan wins this one. Weren't it called Royal Docks? Yeah, they changed it uh, from Woodside to Royal Docks because mm. Terry was in... I think my nephew was the year above Noble or the year below Noble. He won it or two. Uh, Ray says it was Brampton, not St. Bonds. He might, yeah, I think you're right. He was. Yeah. Uh, Jermaine Defoe did go to St. Bonds as well because I, I remember when I was at Eastleigh and uh, the school was suffering, so we had to get St. Bonds teachers come in. Uh, one of my teachers, Mr. Lee, was uh, Jermaine Defoe's uh, form tutor. So he might, have, he might have ended up there. He definitely, because I remember him, he played 
the year above and St. Bond's beat Eastman 9 0 and he scored eight goals. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Lee, was he the PA teacher? Last Danny Charles. Who? Mr. Lee, PA teacher. Yeah, Mr. Lee, yeah. Mr. Yeah, good teacher. Do you remember hey. Mr. Skelton? Skelton, yeah. Good and teacher. And uh, Mr. Wilshaw. Yeah, Sir Michael yeah. now, is he? Sir Michael Wilshaw. He's, he's, our, he's our master. <laughs> Them three teachers come to my school to save Eastley when they was rock bottom. Fuck me, 20 years on, they're, they're proper rock bottom now. They're fucking... They're that conference. Yeah, Mr. Lee, Mr. Skelton, really good teachers, they were. Mm. Yeah. Favourite a... famous West Ham fan? Favourite West Ham fan? Favourite famous West Ham fan? Oh, famous West Ham fan. Um... Ooh. It's a difficult one because I think a lot of famous people sometimes jump on the bandwagon, bandwagon to get a club, and because they're, I don't know, famous West Ham. Obviously, Ray Winston loves West Ham, big West Ham fan, um, yeah. and I like obviously Ray Winston. Russell Brand, I think, is a big West Ham fan. He goes to the games, and he was going no, to the games. No, before. Fielding as well. Uh, no, Fielding is West Ham fan as well. Are you sure you might that mean Noel Edmonds? Jeremy Cole's West Ham fan. Jeremy yeah. Cole is he? Well, he's not my favourite. You know who else was a West Ham fan? Big film director Alfred. Yeah. Massive West yeah, Ham. Alfred I, I, I'll tell you my favourite West Ham fan, Steve Harris. Proper pro West Ham fan, East End boy, uh, man behind Iron Maiden. Top guy, yeah. I want to say Steve Harris. Apparently, Matt Diamond's a West Ham fan as well. Apparently, yeah, that's true. That's true. Is he, so, is he, is he your favourite, Gray? Hey, is he your favourite? Is he your nah, favourite West Ham? Got, got to be Ray Winston, isn't it? I'm gonna say Triple H. Triple H. I was gonna say Triple H. <laughs> he don't even know what's going on. He just they just give him a West Ham shirt, and he just went. <laughs> I, I, I'll have to have a little bit of like I know she. Probably was forced to wear it, but Katy Perry for me, no arguments there. Kieran yeah, Knightley's yeah. West Ham fan as well. Yeah, yeah, that's Kieran true. John Cleese. Now, John Cleese, He's one of my favourite com uh, comedians or comedy uh, people of all time. Monty Python, love Monty Python. He's got to be up there because I love John Cleese. So yeah, Steve Harris, John Cleese. He was a West Ham fan. Oh, well, he, he went. He went to the game. Well, wait, did you? I'm surprised you ain't said Lennox Lewis, right? Yeah, yeah. forgot about him. Um, oh, dirty den. Dirty den. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> did you guys know this? Yeah, MC Hammer is apparently a West Ham fan. No, fuck what? off. Is he? Really? That's a wind up. I heard. I heard. I don't know. Actually, I heard Barrett Obama was a West Ham fan, or is a West Ham fan. Is, I don't know. His cousin his is a West Ham fan. No, it's his sister. I heard oh, it was his it? sister's West Ham fan, yeah. Danny, Danny Dyer, we know, is a massive West Ham fan. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, oh, Danny Dyer. Billy Mitchell. Yeah, Billy Mitchell, yeah. That, yeah. So, pick your, pick your favourite. He, he wants to know who your favourite is. I've said mine. Ray, Win Ray Winston, why? You said Winston. Scott? Mm. Uh, Ray Winston, not Winston from Ghostbusters. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, it's got to be Ray Winston. He's East London, so he's um, yeah, we'll go for him. <laughs> yeah, so Steve Harris. Uh, well, Nick. <laughs> yeah, I like Steve Harris. <laughs> um, favorite. Uh, I like Russell Brand. All right, there you go. Notice no one mentioned James Corden. Now piss off, no, James. Not, He's so unfunny. Um, like, I ain't got nothing against him, but what's uh, yeah. <laughs> Boy George, shut up. Is he a West Ham fan? Yeah, he's a Boy massive fan. Oh, Boy George. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ask, ask Lee if uh, if um, Osama bin Laden is his favourite Arsenal fan. <laughs> he's an know. Arsenal fan, isn't he? What we want to know is when, when's the next, um, when you're organising Popwell? <laughs> hey, Lee, Lee. Yeah. So he said tomorrow. No, I wish. I wish we could go there tomorrow. I'd, I'd be smiling all day. That's it, Nick. That was a good night. That was a good night, night wasn't it? That was a good yeah, night. That's, right. that's it, mate. Yeah. Just spark up. We're all friends, yeah. <laughs>
that was um that was uh the sausage the Greg sausage roll incident. <laughs> Uh, yeah, with Nick in the pub, you remember? Bloody... <laughs> Nicky oh, got only, kicked only, out. Yeah, but what only, was... only people were able to get kicked out of Witherspoons. We spent about 500 quid in that boozer and they kicked us out because someone sneaked yeah. the sausage roll in. And the rest. <laughs> Fuck yeah. me. Hey, listen. I've got no, no problem, mate. When I go back to... When everything goes back to normal, the way that Witherspoons has fucking treated their staff and that, I'm never going to go in one yeah. of them again. Ever. No, I won't. Really? I won't. Yeah, they well, can go. the way they treat their staff. Yeah, look, Dan, like, Dan likes his money in his pocket, so he's, he's whoa, looking whoa, whoa, whoa. at his money. I've, I've got, I call bullshit on this, Nicky, right? Well, I, might, I don't know. You might have just come to that realisation now, but since that moment, yeah. we went in that Weatherspoon on that big piss-up. Yeah. I was going to say, I've seen him fall out of loads of Weatherspoon since then. Oh, no, 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 there's no. video no. footage. We've done the live stream. No, no, Nicky's right. Nick Nick yeah? talking, Nick talking about um, since the uh, lockdown. Oh, sorry. I thought you meant, stuff oh, like oh, okay. Fair enough. I no, thought you meant because they sausage roll. Chucked out over a sausage roll. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, thought, I thought you meant since then. I was going to say what? Were you just disregarding that Arsenal game <laughs> when we all got pissed? Because <laughs> you definitely had a smile on your face when they brought the tray up. Not the first yeah, one. Yeah. The first no, one. Yeah. I'll, I'll say it there. Give it six I remember, months. I remember that. I remember that. When, when, open. when yeah, they brought yeah. the first tray over. And Nicky just looked at me and he went, tell him to stop it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the, thing, the thing is, he's a someone like, like, because what happened was the last, that last game we went out for, it was sort of 50,000 uh, subscriber and we, we all went out. It, funny enough, it was, it, it, it was just weird the way it, it happened because, you know, like we, we spend a lot of time together, but going out, because we do the channel, going out socialising and stuff, you know what I mean? We're all getting old now. We've all got families and all that to go home to and all of that sort of thing. We don't do it too often anymore. And it just so happened we hit the 50K. I thought, like, we need a we need a piss out. You know, everything's been a bit oh. shit again this season. Just, uh, just we need to Sorry, mate. Just popped up on my thing. Uh, Pop World is live now. Uh, we still got it. <laughs> um, yeah, but it just so happened that Arsenal game, which ended up being the last game we, you know, we went to, we went out on a piss and we oh. stuck uh, the, like our table number like stupidly on Twitter and people were just sending us drinks and all that. But then they start getting the arsehole with it when obviously like single things kind of like ice cream and Big mushy peas, mushy peas and all that. And, and somebody <laughs> said, over a fried egg. Yeah, but this is the thing, right? So somebody sent over one fried egg on a plate, right? And I remember that we had a thingy full of drinks and we was all having it. And they was moaning. They started moaning because mm. we, you know, and I'm, I'm like saying to the but well, you know, people are paying for it, blah, 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 blah. Um, and he just bought over a fried egg. And I thought, no, this is enough now. And he come over and he went to me with fried egg. I went, no. And he just went, okay. And walked that around. <laughs> As he walked away, you tried to slip it off the plate. <laughs> yeah, put it in a sandwich. <laughs> you went, get us a couple of slices of bread. Um, <laughs> I've got, uh, Matt House says, have you got any Vegas stories, Nick? You know, I've never been to Las Vegas. Never. Ryan's been a few times. Um, I've my, never. Uh, listen, I love London. London's I'd love to go. Man. Vegas is my, I love it. And I can't wait to go back there. Uh, well, would you ever like, move there, Ryan? Would you uh, ever move to Vegas? Quick. No, I don't think I've moved there. I, I, I don't think I'll ever move abroad because I think I've missed England too much. It's nice to go away for a few weeks, but you always miss home, didn't you? And yeah, yeah, same. yeah. I, I love it out there. I, I just love the the place. It's twenty four seven. It's non stop. But I can't wait to go back. And I hope that at some point, maybe this year, I might be able to. Think Great chat. Don't, don't forget the two Davies. They were big, massive fans back in the day. Yeah, I'd, one of them may be, mate, not the other one. Um, <laughs> Gary Page says, any McDonald's open near you? Funny enough, I took my boy to get a McDonald's today. Uh, oh, you weren't one of them plebs fucking queuing fucking <laughs> two hours down the road, was <laughs> you? It's birthday, man. I'm not going to oh, sell him no. He wanted a McDonald's. Right, so you were sitting in their queue for two hours down the road? No, I pre-ordered. I, I, it took me like 10 minutes. Oh, oh you can pre-order? Yeah. Oh, here they're it is. Open, they're open. They're open. Oh, look, Dan, Dan's, Dan's like, oh, oh. No, but I'm just saying, like, I He's see that video. These now, people, he? I see these people queuing up, and I thought, what, what, what a fucking idiot. How much, how badly do you want McDonald's that you're going to sit in a queue down the oh, street? No. Oh, that's, that's what it's come to, mate. That's what we've, we've missed. Little these symbol. people can't cook. Learn how to cook. Listen, it's, um, 
I, I sat, I sat in the car. I'll be honest with you. We, uh, when we drove back, there was another one. There's another one opens. They're quite near each other as it happened. I don't see the point of opening the pair of them. The queue was around the block, and I, I said to my missus, "I said, fuck me." I said, "What has this country come to? Fucking hell over a cheeseburger." You know what I mean? Sometimes. <laughs> You know, I, I think I'll even chin me nan for a double cheeseburger. You know, sometimes <laughs> you've got fucking... Them bad boys, you know, don't get in my way. <laughs> Listen. Graham, Graham, what's the next subject? <laughs> hey, I've got one. Burger King opening up again. <laughs> Go on, right? Cy si Smith said, South End or Margate. South End, so I was always took to South End, taken I'm to South End. Because I'm, I'm not that far from South End, I don't... No, I'm going to go Margate. Jolly boys out in, mate. I've, I've had a few good beanos down at Margate, yeah, so yeah, that's ben be Margate for me. me. The old Ben Bond brothers, great days. Yeah, Peter, you know what? South End. I'll be honest with you. I've, I've, I remember like a lot of my childhood, like going to South End and things yeah, like same. that. It was nice. It was nice. I took my boy down there a couple, a couple of years ago. My boy's nine um, this week, so uh, it was. He was about four, I think. About five years ago, it was a nice sunny day, and there's like a load of people sitting there drinking outside the pubs, and like they're getting rowdy and all that. And I'm, you know, on them hot days and all that, I think, I, you know, I think it's because you've got the arcades and all that. Obviously, you're going to have people going out for a beer and all that. Um, so we're walking up and down the strip, and I see this geezer, and he, you can see he was just playing up, you know, giving it the big, and he's got his shirt. I'll give him his due, he's a big, big old lump like that. Um, got his shirt off, he's chatting up a bird and just getting involved in everyone's fucking business and all that as we walk past his pub. Then we walked up to the end to the Curzel, and when we started walking back, the, it was getting dark. And I, my boy took his scooter, and I was fucking holding this scooter like this. And all of a sudden, as we walked past his pub, he's come rolling out the pub, like fighting with this other geezer, right? Right in front of us. Now, I pushed my boy and my missus on. And I thought I was walking through the middle of them. They're having a proper punch up, like a proper tear up. And I'm in the middle of them with this scooter, right? And I'm thinking, <laughs> if one of these cunts fucking even brush past me, I'm going to spin this scooter around like some ninja weapon. Luckily, right, <laughs> they just fucking like parted around me and just sort of like started thinking. About, yeah, it, for things like that, it's just like, to be fair though, mate, Graham did apologise and he didn't mean it. You know, we're... <laughs> no, it's just it, it, all that's too much for me now. There's a lot of like drugs. I've seen, I've of seen, I've seen a few around. around the, um, there's a big boozer in Clapton near the seafront, and um, it's um, yeah. I, I think you get that with seaside resorts, don't you? You always get one pub where it gets people go over the top, but. Nick, South End or Margate? I didn't get the, your answer out of that. South End or Margate? Uh, 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 South End. South see, end. I, see I, I, I like Margate, right? But Margate now is just full of pissheads. I don't think I've been to Margate. They've done it all up. Done no, it all up been been well, yeah, to be fair, I've been there for a couple of years, but the last time I was there, I, it was just full of pissheads. I've Literally. been there for years. I, I don't think I've been there since, obviously, it's reopened again, but I went there as a kid to the Ben Bon Brothers and things like that. And Margate mm. used to be like a big place, sort yeah. of, um, yeah, the place to go. So the beach was, is better. At, the beach is better at Margate. So uh, the, beach is I like Margate. the beach is nice, but South end, when I was a kid, had Peter Pan's adventure island, you get a wristband. That's, you can go it's on still there, the right. It's still no, it's, there, not, mate, it's not called Peter Pan's anymore. Apparently it's called something else. You got to go to, um, get down the old, um, Canva Sands. Lovely, lovely beach down there. Canva Sands. Yeah, oh, I went yeah, to yeah, a park down there. Lovely beach. Them, them churches are nice as well. Go down there, the beach is down there and nice. Bournemouth, lovely beach. Brighton, shocking beach. Shocking, shocking beach, Brighton. Worst beach in the country. Just stones. Hills everywhere. <laughs> um, <laughs> is that it, boys? No. I, I can't see any more questions. I oh, think... I mean, no. One thing, no. One thing we haven't mentioned yet. How long have we got? What, what another 10 minutes? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, 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 as long as you want. Um, yeah, all right, Scott. All right, all right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Leave it out, Scott. We've all had a drink. <laughs> um, Leave it. No, we haven't mentioned about Declan Rice yet. I mean, obviously, it was three years ago yesterday that he made his debut. Um, and I just think that he's been unreal for West Ham. Uh, I'm, me and Nicky was at his debut, Burnley away, last game of the season, when we won 2-1. It was the famous day where... 
we was in the cricket club before the game and uh, they had that famous cricket match where, <laughs> it, honestly, mate, it was so funny. Every time one of them got bowled out and he had to walk back to the change rooms, everyone was singing, you're oh, fucking you. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, I, I thought the geese were going to swing a cricket bat, but then I thought, no, mate, there's about 3,000 West Ham there fans here, so you don't really want to be doing that. <laughs> but no, I just think like with Declan Rice, I mean, whether whether he's going to stay or not, I think he's been a great like servant for the club as a youngster. He's still only 21. You forget how young he is. And um, mm. obviously, you know, for England in national now, seven caps. Despite what went on with whether he played for Ireland or not, he played for England. <coughs> he's made that choice. And yeah, I just I, I just hope that he gets to stay with West Ham because I really see him as a future captain. And, and as I said on previous shows, that if the club have got sort of any ambition then they should be putting their arm around him saying, here's the armband, you know, go on and captain this club, take over from Mark Noble. And I think Mark, Mark, Mark Noble will be happy to hand his armband over to him. Mm. Absolutely. Uh, Ray Chapman says, Clacton is a mess. The big pub you're saying is Tom Peppers. Yeah, that's uh, the, yeah, probably, yeah. Um, the PR. Uh, Matt Powell says, big mention to Captain Tom doing, going to be knighted, truly deserved. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. 100%. Yeah. 100%, yeah. 100% yeah. Done some fucking... Colonel, Colonel Tom as he is now. Uh, Philip yeah. says, what are you eating, Dan? Uh, Chips. Dan said, did you mention a transfer window? What's to mention? Who knows? Nobody knows. We're not even finished the fucking season yet. Going back to things, though, right? Favourite city in England apart from London? Newcastle. Newcastle. Great, great night. Cheap. Good fun. Love yeah, Newcastle. Yeah, no, really. Yeah, good weekend out there, isn't it? Yeah, you yeah. like uh, Leicester, didn't you? Yeah, Liverpool, Newcastle. Um... Not been Newcastle yet, I must admit. Waiting to go. So Le- go Leeds ain't a bad night out. It's no go up. Leeds ain't a bad night out. We had a decent night out in Manchester as well. I've had a couple of nights out in Liverpool. I must say that. Uh... That's it. Who, who is the better cook and signature dish? Hmm. I think. Um, I reckon right, this. I reckon right, it's out of Scott or Nicky. I reckon. Yeah, I'm really? not much of a cook. I'm not much of a cook. I can. Um, I, I'll probably make you like a nice ham sandwich with a little bit. Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Ben, uh, ben, ben you yeah. say like like you don't expect me and Nicky can actually cook. You, I don't, I can't see you guys right getting all the season, all the spices right, putting it all in, getting chopping up everything, taking your time with it, letting it all yeah. fry off, then adding yeah. it. Yeah. This is all bought and paid for, mate. Dan, yeah, Dan, what about Nicky's yeah. uh, pie mash? Nicky's pie and mash. Oh, that fucking brick of a pie! <laughs> the other day. Fucking, I'm surprised the table was uh, Mate, kept up under pie. the weight. That, that pie, that pie was fucking delicious. <laughs> it looked like a, a brick. No, but the thing is, I, I, I only had puff pastry left. So it looks bigger than what it is because it's puffed up a little bit. But once you sort of squashed it down, it was quite little. But the... The, I'll be honest, the tins were quite deceiving. The tins look small, but when you yeah. put the pie in, <laughs> they look massive. Like, it's like two pies. One of them fried bentos ones, was it? No, I made, that, I made that from scratch, mate, from nothing. I, yeah. I don't even attempt to, to cook. I'd rather just order. No, no. I miss... Um, Raymond Rossitia says, I miss pie mash and liquor. I miss it so much, mate. I just started making it and I make a fucking banging <laughs> pie mash now. Believe me. I, oh, Dan, I was so insulted when you like slagging off your pie, mate. No, no but like, no, listen, no, if you go to a pie mash, the pies are made with... Um, I know what like they're made with, Yeah, it's a suet made, pastry. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's, I mean, they're, 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 they're a lot slimmer. It's soft. They're very soft, I'm, melting your mouth. I'm going to say here, though, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Nikki, Nikki, yeah, but, sorry, can I just say one thing? Nicky made lockdown pies. We've all put on weight in lockdown. That's what Nicky was doing. We don't want those slim pies. You have the lockdown pie. <laughs> and, he, and he did say, he did say, he did apologise for the puff pastry. Yeah, thank you, well, fair enough. Thank you. Hey, words <laughs> and pictures say, says says the man eating chips. Right, it's for everyone knows historically Friday you have chips on a Friday, didn't you? Fish so chips. yeah, fish and chips. Yeah, fish and chip Friday. Yep. Yeah, yeah, or just a bag of chips. Say, right, you the, pie, the pie mash oh, shop near me has been open the whole lockdown. Just obviously just doing takeaway. Is it? 
tell you what, right? Yeah. If no. the fo- when the football ends, God's honest truth, and this lockdown ends, we're having a fucking what do you call it? Um, when you go, when you you go see- around each other's houses, what's that it's- one called? <laughs> Oh, um, come dine with me. Come oh, dine come with dine me. with me. Oh, West Ham fan TV, come dine with me. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm up for that. I'm up Just for that. Salmon says vegan giving cooking tips. I'll hold my beer. <laughs> Listen, fucking Northern <laughs> Nick, right? With his bloody pie and mushy peas. Don't give me that. Northern pies. I make a, I just say, I make a beautiful like a, a Caribbean curry, right? And I get there, I get all of the the, the herbs, the spices, yeah. cook it, fry it off with onions, garlic, add the add some coconut milk, fry that up a bit more, add in you some. Haven't, you haven't had pie mash. Disgusting. You haven't had pie mash until you've had George's pie mash. Yeah, George's is nice. See me, yeah. Oh. I, I cook things around the world, yeah. I'm not like you, lot. Just cook your pie and meat and two veg, yeah. I cook Dan, in, I'm in the continental dishes, right? Dan, so do I. I would love, no, I would love, I would love to have the time to I'd cook your entire dishes. <laughs> I'm I'd shut. That's continental. That's not English. Scott, you have the time. It saves you time if you cook it. Wait, you had what the other night, right? Fajitas. Fajitas. That's fucking less not foreign food, isn't it? Yeah, Dan, Dan, right. have you, Dan, have you ever tried cooking with a four year old running around your ankles? Now, nah, listen, well, what would you eat? What'd you do? Microwave dinners, is it? You have a laugh, <laughs> and you have <laughs> microwave dinners, don't eat that stuff. It's like right. right. well, right. 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 a cook, you've got no time to cook. Hey, um, hang on, my volume's gone all funny. <laughs> he's, he's cutting his dinners right off. He ain't even fucking seen the dinner. <laughs> <laughs> all right, listen, all right, listen. It <laughs> says a lot, Nick. Nick, it says a lot that when we went round there, he didn't cook us a dinner. He got <laughs> pizza, didn't he? He got pizza. He <laughs> used to pull his barbecue out every week, every week without fail. I've said, well, I live with Scott. Me and Scott lived together when we was young. Any see you next Tuesday can shove something on a barbecue. Nick. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying it. I'm just saying if you ain't got time to cook, Scott, then I'm saying how do you eat? Do you get takeaways every night? Do you no, not stick no, it in no. No, 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 no. I have I have time to cook, but I don't have time to cook how I used to cook, if you know what I mean. <laughs> All right. Fair okay. enough. So so you've got you've got cooking from scratch and then you've got cooking Instead yeah, but... of making a bolognese from scratch, you're making a bolognese with a domino sauce because you ain't got the time to really? make it. What? You make it. <laughs> oh, you know yeah. fuck all about that. Hang, Hang on, Nick. Stands. <laughs> you fucked up. Fucking... His name. You've done. You've done him pronounce domino. Yeah, can you say domino sauce? What's domino oh, sauce? I don't know, mate. Domino sauce. Domino. 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 <laughs> Whatever. I'm just making bolognese when we domino sauce. I'm glad you didn't take me with me. I'll just give you a tip, Scott. If you cook a big pot on Sunday, that's your dinner for like the next few days, mate. Dad, save your time. This come dine with me, man. I'm just going to give you a plate of air. <laughs> You know them things that you put the packaging in, them little yeah. what look you think that's what you're gonna get me. Well, I'm not gonna give you a good rate. I'm not gonna give you a good rating, am I then, Nick? I'm not gonna give you yeah, a good I can, see, I can see Dan in the back of the cab going like that. Fuck that, he's getting a two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know if we're doing this thumb diamond, I'm just telling you now we're getting Chinese takeaway. I don't give a fuck what score I get. I ain't cooking shit. <laughs> Either that, or you're getting chicken breasts on the George Foreman with a bit of Uncle Ben's wrath. Fucking hell, I used to have a George. I didn't know anyone still uses George for them. Oh, mate, they're the bollocks when you're trying to keep it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here's a fact, right? Did you know this? That the George Foreman was nearly the Hulk Hogan. Well, that's according to Hulk Hogan. <laughs> what? He wrestled Hulk Hogan? No, there was a message on, on um, you know, the George Foreman, it made him fucking millions and millions and millions, right? Yeah. Yeah. There was a. They was trying to find sports stars to 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 um. They had two products. They had a blender and a and a grill. And like they was trying to entice football, like you know, sports stars to to endorse this these products. And um, they contacted Hulk Hogan, and he wasn't in. And um, they said to him, "Would you like to endorse a grill or a or a blender for us?" And when he got back home, he said, "Um, I'll listen to the message and." I uh I wanted to endorse the grill. So I phoned him up and said, I'll endorse the grill. And he said, Oh, sorry, 
we've just given the grill to George Foreman. He got back to us first. You'll have to endorse the blender. And he's like, all right, then. That grill went on to make fucking George Foreman about 50 fucking million pound. Yeah, yeah. and the rest. And, yeah, and yeah. The, uh, yeah, and the rest. And the blender, uh, Hulk Hogan about... <laughs> He uh, told Ford down Dagnum Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Poor Why Hulk Hogan. He loves a sausage casserole. <laughs> Don't judge me, mate. <laughs> Boy, I ain't had a sausage. There's nothing wrong with a bit of sausage. He said, right. I love a massive burger. My favourite food is shepherd's pie. I love shepherd's pie. Love it. I had that tonight. Mm, I love it. Lovely, it was. I went all continental tonight. I had a pizza, a pizza. <laughs> fresh from Morrison's. Just to bang that in the oven, job done, mate. 20 minutes when you get home from work late and you've got to set up all this Friday night pint, and you don't get time. I got literally, I had a shower, everything you know. I just fucking I feel like a single mum on the go. <laughs> Graham, 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 what's the subject? Ray Chapman said all six of George Foreman's kids were called George. George the first. George the second. No way. Yeah, that's what he said. He said, Google it. <laughs> fuck it. What the fuck? Um, what sort of nutty bastard? What an aftersist. James Fincham says Hawaiian pizza. Now, yes. this, this is my no. favourite pizza. Filth, filth, filth. I don't get it. People say you can have one on a pizza, mate. You can have whatever you want on it. I enjoy it. You get the sweet and the savoury. You might as well put gummy bears on it. No. Uh, fucking do it. I love an Aribo meat feast. Yeah, <laughs> I, love, yeah, I remember you had the pizza with just like the, the tomato base and chilies on it. I this like, yeah, that's true, Dan. A, I've said you, a, I've seen a pizza turn up for you, mate. It's got fucking a bit of fucking tomato puree on it and a chili flake. Yeah, but Nick, Nick, yeah. I'm, it's about what you add to the pizza, not what about what you take away. I'm not talking about putting a bloody fruit salad on it. All right, you can take away that still. It's still a savory pizza, right? What I, I add. Yeah, my pizza, tomato fruit. What? Tomatoes what? fruit. Yeah, but it's mm. not in the same category, is it? You're not going to yeah. have that in a fruit salad, are you? You're not going like to go to an all that. American buffet in America. I think everywhere's all a buffet in it. Every, you can order a small plate and they give you like a fucking lifetime's worth of chips and shit. But um, I, I went I went to an all you can eat in Florida, man. That, 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 mm. whew, hell of I'm, a lot of food. I remember one morning before I went to the Grand Canyon, I thought, oh, do you know what? I'm going on a helicopter. I don't really like things like that. <laughs> I thought I'd have a small breakfast. So they had this like burrito breakfast wrap. I thought, I'll get that. That'd be small. Me thinking it'd be like a McDonald's thing. It come up. It was like a fucking loaf of bread. And they put a muffin <laughs> on the side as well. Oh, fucking <laughs> I, lo I love the food in America. I fucking ate it, but <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> what, <laughs> it's fucking there, isn't it? I paid for it. Can we Jay start? Has um, Jay has, Jay has can we start wrapping this up now? Because I am freezing. <laughs> <laughs> It was all fun and games earlier, Nick, when the sun was out, wasn't it? Yeah, all Wait. fun and games, yeah. Nah, no, sit outside. It's hot indoors now. Look at you, freezing. How <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, well, long we've been going? We've been going nearly two hours now. Uh, thank you so much for joining us on the stream, boys. A couple of people are saying JP streams better because we're talking about food and all that. Listen, food's my favourite subject. We've no, what else is there fucking to talk we can, about? We can talk about what, whatever people ask us. I mean, go back to the beginning of the show when we're talking about football. If you don't like it, Go over to the other channels. Yeah, it's loads there of pictures. There's loads of West Ham content out there. Um, listen, thank you very much for joining us on this edition of West Ham Fan TV's Friday Night Pint. Uh, once again, um, thank you to all the boys for joining us. Uh, thank you for everyone that gets involved in these streams. As I said, um, why the content is not, you know, as thick <laughs> as we're doing this once a week. Um, and it's more about, not about the football, but just hanging about, hanging out and, and, and chatting to you guys. And, you know, whether we're talking about food, whether we're talking about fucking Hawaiian pizzas or whatever, you know, it, it is what it is. We're trying to lift the spirits of everyone. Um, when the football starts coming back, I know this football starting to come back very soon. Um, we're going to be naive to say that it isn't. Um, the content's going to start getting back to normal from uh, the next week or the week after. Um, so we'll have previews and all that. We're still looking at ways to um, maximise the match day and, and get people involved, get the fan cams back in one way or the other. If we've got to do it remotely, we've got to do it remotely. Uh, we're getting green screen stuff set up so we can do live streams like we did. Um, you remember we did for the Man City and the Liverpool games. Um, 
you know, new shows coming up where we're going to get you all involved again. Uh, I want more fan interaction on this channel. I want more, 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 because that it, ultimately that's what football's all about. And that's why we're all sitting here um, fucking being pissed off that we can't go to the football. It's all about you. And football is nothing without you guys. Just remember that. Um, and we want to get you involved. We want to get more people involved. We're still working on a lot of stuff for next season. Who knows what next season's challenges hold, but um, we're ready for the challenge uh, and the content's going to start coming thick and fast very soon. We're not sitting on our asses doing nothing. We are planning for the future. Um, um, obviously, well, there, do you know what? I think next week there, there's a space on, on this show. There's like five of us. I think we can get six on it. I might try to see if I can get someone on next week um, to join us. So... We might have a special guest on next week. I've, I've been speaking to a few people that at the moment it's a bit, they're a bit tied up, but hopefully I'll get someone on next week. I might uh, get someone to join us. I won't tell you boys, I'll just add them. So, just chuck them in. Surprise, surprise, it's still here. <laughs> hopefully I can sort my MacBook out so it doesn't crash anymore. Oh, fuck off, Scott, with your moody Brand fucking, fucking 95. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what's going on. I'll, I'll have to speak to you or Nick or Dan and try and sort it out, see what's going I on. All I can see on Graham is his eyes. <laughs> Hang on. Hang He's on. His eyebrows merged. Oh, what are you doing? He turned hey, the light man. on now. We just better sign hey, off hey, and turn the light on. Hey, but stand up a minute. Okay. Stand up a minute. Wait, you, Graham, stand up. Lean over. Turn them lights back off because you look up. <laughs> <Huh? laughs> I love you, Graham. I've missed you. Right. Right, you're going gonna to do next week's show in a dress. Oh, the NHS. Oh, the next week's show in a dress. I am in a dress yeah. for the NHS. That's, that's... Oh, that's I like it. Yeah, then. Yes. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, all, you, all you can see of me is this. <laughs> Better be a, a low cut, a low cut number. I reckon Dan and, Nick, Dan and Nicky should wear a dress next week and continue their argument in a dress. <laughs> I'm game. Well, thank, thank, <laughs> thank you very much for joining us on this edition of West Ham Fan TV's Friday Night Punt. As I said, one thing left to say, boys. Come on, Come on, your, Come on your hands. Stay safe. <clears throat> Sorry. Not happy with you, Illumi. <laughs> I, love, I 